Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Thanks for coming back and joining up with us today. We are moving on to Brooklet Hill on today's episode and I'm super excited because there's going to be a lot of water Pokemon over there. Now, I am going to be asking you guys the comment question of the day, which is who is your favorite water Pokemon and why, right? Who's your favorite water Pokemon? Let me know in the comments, I can't wait to read that. So, favorite water types, huh? My favorite water type would definitely have to be Vaporeon. Like, I, without a doubt. Gen 1 right over here, one of my very favorites. I would say second favorite, I really like Lapras. I like Lapras a lot. I like Blastoise. Who else? I don't know, those are my favorite water types. They're really cool, so I'm curious as to yours. Let me know in the comments. So here we go, we did this trade, remember on our previous episode we got ourselves a Lillipop and we found them just outside this area, so not even a big deal. If you guys are looking to raise a Noibat and you don't mind it being called Noinoi, -noi, <laughs> you don't mind it being called Noinoi, -noi, uh, you can totally uh, go ahead and do that. So Noinoi's -noi got an item. No, I'm sorry, it's like X to do items, right? Yeah, here we go. No, no. You've got Flynium Z, and then you got Bright... Oh, Bright Powder. Wow. Actually, here, move that to you, Ghastly. Get that Evasion Boost, and give me this pretty wing. Great. And you know what? Give me that Flynium Z, dude. Go put that back in the bag. All right, back in the bag, Nebby. All right, so that's great. So we got some free Bright Powder, and what Bright Powder does is that boosts your evasion. So even moves that have 100% accuracy, barring like Swift, uh, would be really, really good. Uh, or sorry, your Pokemon will be really good against them because they'll lower that accuracy a little bit. Who in the world are you? Oh, this is Lana. I forget what Lana looks like. She was just Lana. I serve as a captain of Brooklet Hill. So trial goer, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely. Trial start. Then I'll explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this. I want you to herd the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklyn Hill, driving them downstream to draw the totem Pokemon. If I might be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to herd. But I won't expect you to swim through the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift to help you. Lapras ride pager, doing it. We're doing it. If you clop atop, climb up atop Lapras here, uh, you'll be able to travel over bodies of water. Now you'll be able to do, drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So if you're ready, please follow me this way. Cute. All right, Lana, let's do this. I'm ready. So the wire tr water trial is chasing down wishy-washy while riding a Lapras. Cool. Let's give it a shot. So you made it. Ah, I'm sorry, what was your name? Of course, Abdallah, it's such a lovely name, just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? I do. Those are the two splashes. All right, I'm thinking at least one of them might contain wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might, don't you agree? Would you try to dry them downstream with a little help from Lapras? Yeah, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Surfing real fast! Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I gotta go battle some chicks. Uh, I crammed my Pokemon in my backpack, bounced around, and now I'm here. Sorry, Misty. <laughs> it's Misty! No, it's Backpacker Makiko, Misty's distant sister. Fletchling! Sorry, Fletchling. Get rocked. Okay, Pikachu is going to attempt to be the MVP of this episode. He's going to attempt. He doesn't have a strong thunder attack. He doesn't have Thunderbolt. He just has Thunder Shock, which is the most babiest of moves. Heck, I'll even take Spark. Give me something. Okay, Makiko. Whoa, looks like I've been visited by defeat. Thanks for the money, though, Makiko. You are great. Okay, I'm going to get off right now. Ugh. Get off! I need to go get that Pokeball. Thank you. X special attack. Don't eat it. Here we go. Ride Pokemon Lapras. Go! 
Could this be the wishy-washy? It is not. It is the uh, Dewpiter. Wow, the little water bug. Yeah, he's good. He's a good Pokemon. All right, let's see how we do against him, Pikachu. Go. If he survives two of these, he won't survive two of these. He got the paralysis, though. I'm going to use Echoed Voice to try to capture him. Oh. It's very unfortunate, man. And I'm not allowed to leave during the trial. I can't go back to the Pokemon Center. Bug bite, what? Kinda hurts. What happened? Oh, I was gonna say, what happened to your paralysis? I saw your name, and the name didn't have the paralysis icon on it. Alright, bug bite's fine. Here we go. We're gonna go Pokeball. Wait, what do you. I can't capture. Oh my gosh, how did I fall for that? How in the world did I fall for that? You can't capture Pokemon in the trials, Abdella. All right, good job, Dartrix. Good job, Ghastly. All right, Pikachu, let's do, uh, I guess a super potion. I got seven of these things. Okay. That was quite interesting. I, I totally forgot about that. Wishy-washy, time to fight. You know... Is he gonna do his, like, schooling thing, or is this just a baby wishy-washy? Like, how does this work? Helping hand? Oh, gosh, that's right. He does use helping hand. I should... Mm, I don't know. Like, I want to trade up Pikachu's item. I want to trade it from a magnet, but I like the money from the amulet coin. Okay, so we scattered them all the way to the next one. What a lovely surprise. Please carry the wishy-washy downstream, just like that. I'm working on it, lady. Here we go. Get that big revive in case the game is kind of holding your hands, man. They're giving you, like, a lot of revives. And if you don't use them, you can absolutely sell them for big money. It's like a thousand bucks a time. All right, here we go. There's two of them. Wonder what's gonna happen, left or right? I'm just gonna go to the first one that they showed. It could be a Dew Piter. A Dew Piter. Oh, here he is, we got him. Wishy Washy appeared. It's gonna be a uh, one hit KO because this guy's really weak. But uh, once the totem Pokemon Wishy Washy, oh, that's gonna be another thing altogether. He's fast too, like he's faster than me. Toracat, 24. Wants to use Bite? Yeah, dude, go for it. Bite is better than Workout, that's for sure. Workup was totally entry level. Like at the beginning of the game. No, we're not going to use that. But it's good to have a setup move. Alright. I don't think there's anything else over this way. Okay, never mind. Old man. Hey, dude. What are you, fishing for Magikarp? When the fishing line has been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle. Uh, a trainer will be hooked. You just call me a sucker? I will destroy you, Fisherman Carl. All he has is wishy-washy. A Magikarp! <sighs> Magikarp. I don't know if Magikarp actually, um... They're fast. They're fast Magikarp. You can see that. It outsped me, which is crazy. Magikarp is a fast Pokemon. You guys may think that Magikarp's the weakest Pokemon in the game. He's totally not. He's very strong. Use that splash. Nothing happened. Alright, I had to set up a little bit there. I mean, plus me. I, 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 can, go, I can go to plus six. Trust me on that one. I'm not going to switch Pokemon. We got this. Fisherman Carl, come on. Like, why am I holding on to this egg, too? Like, I'm just... 
I don't want to hold on to the egg. I'm missing out on all this experience that could be given to Neuburn. Neubat. It's too late now. Want to learn double team? Absolutely not. So double team is pretty cool. It boosts your evasion by one stage. Don't ever use it in competitive battles. Mostly uh, evasion moves are banned in competitive battling. Double team plus six. Minimize Chansey. Oh my gosh. Fisherman Carl, a thousand bucks? Come on, dude. That's all you got? Man. Fisherman Carl, you're mine. Oh, yes! Charge beam! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, beautiful bag. That's what I am talking about. Yes. Way better. Way better than uh, Thunder Shock, which is 40. Dude, get out of here. Ah, oh, it's about time. Okay, it's about time. We did it. Oh, that's great. Oh, we have Brick Break too. Can anyone learn Brick Break on my team? Pikachu can. Hmm. Hmm. Pikachu can learn Brick Break, huh? Maybe we should do that. Give him a little physical move. Uh, Echoed Voice is okay. T Wave's cool. I don't know. I like my move set. You know what? We'll, we'll keep it the way it is. We will absolutely keep it the way it is. I've got, although, like, Nasty Plot is cool, Nasty Plot plus, um, what happened, Rotom? I don't know, Nasty Plot plus Charge Beam seems a little overkill. Seems redundant, almost. Look there, yes, just over there. It would seem that we've succeeded in drawing out the Totem Pokemon. Strike against the totem with all your strength and seize victory. I hope you're ready, Abdallah. It's time to face the totem Pokemon. Yes, it is. Yes, it is time to fight the totem Pokemon. Let's do Roto Boost. Raises all the stats of your battling Pokemon. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, so it's a holding item? Yeah, sure. Cool, let's, let's try it. I don't think you get money from the the battle. Let's try Roto Boost on Pikachu and see what kind of work he can do. All right, here we go, that big schooling. Whoa, scary. Wait, what? It's different! I thought it was Totem Wishy Washy, but that's Totem Do Piter? Araquanid? What? Oh man, I'm done now. Special defensive boost. Speed Rose? What? I better paralyze this fool. Started to rain. What will Pikachu do? I don't know what Pikachu's gonna do. What does Roto Boost do? Bubble's gonna hurt in, in the rain, of course. I don't think Pikachu could take it. Oh, Lord. I can't take a bubble in the rain, man. This is terrible. All right, Dartrix, man, you gotta do this work. Well, at least we got the paralysis on him. Even that kind of hurts. Because there's two of them doing it. That's annoying. Wow, that's a lot of work. And my speed fell. Great, great. But luckily for me, we got Razor Leaf. It's neutral against them. Crit on the totem. You have Aurora Beam? Oh my goodness. And Bug Bite, yowie! Okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna do one more. 
Oh, come on, a Raquinid dodging it. That's stupid. Wow, I just got rocked. Okay, well... We're just gonna have to bring a water type. And we're just gonna have to echo voice this guy. That that's actually pretty tough. I was not expecting a Rockwinid at all. I thought it was gonna be the same copy paste game as it was Pokemon Sun, but it wasn't, and I'm pleasantly surprised about that. Your ability on Leech Life heals you so much! What the heck? Masquer Rain in the rain? With Intimidate, what is going on? How am I gonna win? Let's try some echoed voice. That did nothing. Stun Spore? Holy moly. I don't know. Are we going to lose this battle? If he keeps on using Leech Life, it's over. And it's not going to stop raining. And he's just going to keep on healing all the damage that I'm doing to him. This is not going to be conducive to what we need to do. The only Pokemon that's going to be very good against all these other Pokemon is going to be Dartrix. Really, it is. Tailwind? On your partner? Oh, this is not fair. He's going to get up to full. I should have, like, I don't know, I don't have a toxic ability. Um, give me a, like, a super potion. And this guy's gonna leech life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was crazy! I'm just thinking, like, how am I going to do this? Ghastly has what moves? You have Confuse Ray? I got Confuse Ray and Nightshade, so I can try to do some work. I can't take, like, a Bubble Beam or whatever, Aurora Beam. I can't do any of that stuff. So I'm just going to try for the Confuse Ray on a Raquanid, and let's see what we can do. Bug Bite doesn't really do much. That's good. I'm glad. And we can get this Confusion on him. And he hit himself, that's a free turn. Okay, so we can go Pokemon, we can go Dartrix and start doing some work. Yeah, we can we can try that out. And I do have Roost on Dartrix too, so I gotta quit forgetting about that. Yeah, Dartrix is the only way that I could beat these guys. Dude, this is a tough battle. I didn't expect this. He's paralyzed. It doesn't matter. Aurora Beam hurts like a truck. I was not expecting Masquerain either. Oh my gosh, it's over. Two hits and I'm gone with that ice move. Like, what? What am I missing here? Torcat's gonna get rocked by a water move. 
And then we're down. How am I going to win? I guess the only thing I could do is like T-Wave and try to make sure that like Masquerain doesn't mess around. Like, what? Oh, you're kidding me! He was so fast! <laughs> What's going on? Ah! I can't do any fire type moves in the rain. I can't do double kick. I can try to bite a Raquinid. I mean, Brion was the only one that was like taking all these hits. And a Raquinid hasn't gotten fully paralyzed at all. This is a hard battle. We're really just using Toracat as fodder right now. Dude, he's paralyzed and he's not even getting paralyzed. Like, what is this? I'm gonna use Ghastly. <laughs> I can't believe how hard this is. It's that stupid rain that's just boosting all these water type attacks. And you think you can dodge it? No way. Here's Parafusion, man. Hit yourself. Thank you. All right, dude, we got to do this. Come here. Ghastly, just go. Nightshade, we have to power through this Araquanid. Masquerade, bug bite, not very effective. I'm paralyzed, it's fine. He's confused. Use bubble, that's going to hurt. In the, in the rain, that's going to hurt. Nightshade, that's good. 22 damage. Beautiful, beautiful. We can make it. We can make this. All right, see, watch. This is how we make it. I am going to... Because I know I'm going to die this next turn. I'm going to use a revive on Pikachu. Going to take that bug bite. I knew it was happening. I could have used a full restore on Ghastly. I could have, yes. He was biting now the... Yes, Tailwind petered out. This is beautiful. Wa uh, watch, watch. Not Dartrix. But Pikachu is now going to come on board and save the flippin' day. Oh my gosh, it was so... It was hard. He, they're in the rain. I don't have anything against these guys. Oh, Charge Beam. On Araquanid. No! You're done. Crit, finally. Scary face. You should just go run away right now. <sighs> that was rough. I mean, Pikachu was really the MVP, absolutely. But, like, I I couldn't do it. I couldn't get all the moves because Pikachu can't take more than, like, two attacks. I had to make sure to get him, like, super slowed down with that T-Wave. And because I wasted that one turn on T-Wave, we didn't do anything with it. And we haven't learned how to use Roto Boost yet, man. Come on. Very well done, Abdal. Please come back this way. No, I'm, I need to go to the Pokemon Center. That was a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it? That all those wishy-washy gathering 
would have summoned an Araquanid, that is. Huh. Even I was caught hook, line, and sinker. You were amazing, Abdallah. Truly impressive. Please take this. Dude. That was one of the most hard-earned Z-Crystals we've ever gotten. I honestly thought we'd, li we'd lose. I don't know how we made that. But hey, you know what? Using items against the boss, you gotta do it. Unless your Pokemon are like super leveled up. You do know what this is, don't you? Watch, this is how you use Waterium Z. And I have more than just that to offer you, another token of clearing my trial. Here, this is a Lana original. One of my own handmade fishing rods. Hey, hey. Is that a good rod? A super rod? An old rod? An ultra rod? Oh, uh, this is how I use my fishing rod. When you fish for a Pokemon, look for piles of rocks in the water. Fish, like to hide in the shadows there. When you see your bob dip underwater, then you have a bite, but you won't for long. Press A as soon as you see the exclamation mark. If you want to catch any of the Pokemon you fish up for your team, I recommend dive balls. Ten of them, great. I'll take them. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? No, you didn't. Did you really? Well, what do you think? No, you didn't. You did a fine job today. Shall I see you back in the Pokemon Center at Route 5? Sure. Good, let's get going then. You can always do a spot of fishing later. Oh, thanks for teleporting me. Next is Kiawe's Trial. It will take place at Well of Volcano Park. Oh, that reminds me. Did you see any Pseudo Wudo by Paniola Ranch? They were causing some trouble for, my, for people, so I gave them a little dose of my Z power using my Water EMZ. Just a little lesson for them. I wonder how they will react when they see you have a Water EMZ too. Huh. Congrats on finishing the water trial. Thanks, Rotom. It was full. Holy moly, that was tough. Thanks, Rotom. Now let's head on through to Route 6 to the next city. I got a little bit more work. We gotta go backtracking over to Brooklet Hill. We gotta see what's happening. Alright, so again, comment question of the day. Who is your favorite water type Pokemon? Don't say Araquanid. Because I do not want to see another one of those guys for a long time. Dude, he had an ice move to take care of Dartrix. He had water to take care of Toracat. And he had leech life to heal off all the damage from Brion. Like, Pikachu was the only Pokemon that we had that could have done work against him. Alright, we got a Super Repel, right? Dude, Pikachu? Oh, so annoying. No, what are we doing? Pikachu, get that amulet coin back on. That Roto Boost did not help you. Uh, let's see. Get that right back on, dude. Okay, sweet. So he's got the amulet coin, we're good. Oh, that's right, that's the real reason why I went to the bag, because I wanted to use a repel. Okay, we got a, let's see, sort by type. I should have repel somewhere over here. I uh, should have somewhere, that's not it. Uh-uh, that's not it. Super repel. Cool. Got a couple more uh, minutes of the episode. I might as well look around. Oh, I didn't mean to look around like this, but sure. You got something for me? Elixir, hey, that helps out with power points. We'll take it. Good dog. You! I'm waiting for the rain. The rain that will wash everything away. Okay, that's not creepy at all. How about you? Fishing is a path. It's a battle to win against oneself in addition to the Pokemon. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you might find some stickers or something floating around over here. We did get a TM. We did get our Z Crystal. Poliwag! Watch out! Dude, I used to love Poliwag. Way back in the day. He had access to Hypnosis. He was awesome. And then I remember he, when he fully evolved into Poliwrath, way back in the day, it was a cool strategy to use Mind Reader. And then, like, didn't he learn, like, Guillotine or something? Like a one-hit KO move or something? Mind Reader and then Fisher. Like, he had that combo. Which is really crazy if you can do it. Or Sheer Cold. He had one of them. Alright, thanks for that, Fisherman. I'm not gonna do any fishing just yet. 
I just want to actually look around. I want to see what's at the very bottom of this Brooklyn Hill. There's got to be something. Or do I need Sharpedo, like, breaking through the rocks ability? This is where I wanted to go. This is Brooklet Hill Totem's Den. I don't know what that is. Brooklet Hill Totem's Den. Repel's effect wore off. What's the point of this? No, I don't want to go fishing here. Yes, I did, on purpose. Requinid? Wishy-washy? What are we doing here? Tentacool, tentacool. Oh, dude, remember Tentacool? That Tentacool episode of the anime always scared me when I was a young lad. It was crazy. Like, Tentacool, like, washed up all on the shore of some town, and then, like, Tentacool was, like took control of Meowth and it was like all mind controlling and they were gonna destroy the city. Oh man, scary stuff. What's the point of this area here? Dude, this is exactly where I wanted to check out, but there's nothing here. Well, I may be missing something. Probably fishing spots. Maybe just going in those fishing spots and uh, having a good time with that. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'll do, uh, what I'll do right now is we're going to go straight back to the uh, Pokemon Center. We'll heal up, and then we'll call it an episode. I thought today was pretty great. It was a very tough battle against the um, Totem Araquanid. And if you guys are going to learn anything from my mistakes, it's... I don't know, bring a team of all Electric-type Pokemon? Don't even think of bringing Noibat, because you're just going to get Aurora Beam for four times super effective damage. Um... Mareep would probably re be really good. Um, I don't know. Like, even water types would be pretty decent if you had, like... I don't know. Like, flying types would be pretty good. Because if you have Peck, that would be really awesome. I don't know. If Psyduck survives this, I'll capture him. How about that? Okay. Sorry, Psyduck. Don't call me Fizzduck. Fizzduck! Alright, let's go. Let's go to this Pokemon Center. But no, I'm, I'm actually really glad that we have the ability to use Lapras Surf now because we can go back and get that sticker in uh, in like Malo's little area. Remember where Malo was at? Where we found the dog? Yeah, I know. That makes so much sense. Let's go get that sticker a little bit later. All right, here you go. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We're going to heal up, call it a day. And boy, do I need a rest out of that after this episode. Oh my gosh. I was like honestly looking at it. I'm like, dude, we're going to lose... I've never lost in Pokemon before. We're gonna lose right now, so there we have it. We're gonna save our adventure, have a good time with it. And it, of course, it doesn't help if you have an egg in your team. When you go into a trial, we're already handicapped. Man, what a joke. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Can't wait to see you guys on it. Uh, answer the comment question today. Can't wait to read all those. Watch the playlist over here, newest video on my channel there, recommendations, and of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.